Now if you live in a seaside town you might well see a lot of white houses but most times a house will have bricks and slates and so on so I want to do that to this house. So I'm going to zoom out a touch so I can see all of it and I'm after the paint bucket tool here. If I click on that what appears over on the side is a whole list of stuff and what I'm interested in here is the material. So at the moment it's set on wood and there's asphalt, brick, cladding, colours and so on, stone and I want brick and so I'm looking for a brick pattern I quite like the look of and I quite like the look of brick tumbled. So if I bring that in, bring it to the surface I want to paint and it paints that surface and that surface and I think my chimney but of course that's only done the surfaces I can see if I rotate that around and go back to my paint bucket it'll remember the tool I was last on and that side of the chimney rotate it again those sides are done it's just a little back that one and that one okay and I want to change the material I think I'll have some roofing and I quite like some of that there so I can go onto there and onto that one and onto that one and again I need to rotate it around so I can see the front side go back to my paint bucket and put some there now my door I think I want my door to be made out of wood and I quite like that pattern so there's my wooden door and my windows should be glass now it sounds great putting um, glass windows in um, but of course you can see through glass so if I just put standard um, translucent glass in there then it shows nothing really inside so I'm going to actually use this one this sort of looks a little bit more like that or of course as you will have seen if you're looking there's also window coverings so I can go for that one which is meant to look like blinds I think uh, blind cellular blinds cloth vertical blinds and so on so I can put I'm gonna have some nice pattern blind down there um, my chimney pots uh, stone what have we got there that looks like a nice red sandstone for my chimney pots on the top of there and I think that will do now obviously I could put in window frames I can put in door knockers and letter boxes I can go on and on and on with this as long as I want and if you want to see so if I go to camera and I go to standard views and isometric if you want to see just how much you can in fact do and you want to see how if you spend enough time you can get something that looks a lot more convincing than my house does one of the places to look is in the 3D warehouse I could share my model or I can get a model so share would allow everybody else in the world to see what you've done get models allows you to see things that other people have already shared so I'm going to put into the 3D warehouse I'm going to put in just house click enter it'll have a think for a minute and it comes up with houses that other people have drawn and put in there now as you can see some people have spent a lot of time and effort on these things um, so modern houses some of these may well be real people's houses they've drawn some of them may well be um, houses that they've just made up so again you recognize the brick pattern they put some stairs they've spent more time on the window frames and the shapes but hopefully you can see that it is just bunches of shapes all put on there obviously this is a lot more complicated than what what we've done okay so on a simple level we could knock up a simple house if we spent more time and effort we'd make something that looked more convincing